So I wanted to do a video on mercury toxicity. First thing, let's talk about the symptoms. Uh, muscle weakness, poor coordination, which is damage in the brain usually. Peripheral neuropathy, that's a problem in your fingertips or your toes where you have numbness, burning, tingling, tight pain or sensation. Skin rashes, anxiety, um, uh, what's that? Uh, poor memory, trouble uh, sp uh, sp speaking, trouble hearing, trouble seeing. And then you also have a series of symptoms that relate to higher amounts of adrenaline, like excessive sweating, tachycardia, which is increased pulse rate, increased salivation, high blood pressure, and insomnia. And that is because mercury binds with SAMe. It blocks the ability for SAMe to work. Maybe you've heard about or seen SAMe in certain nutritional products. Well, SAMe is needed for adrenaline breakdown. It's needed to break down certain neurotransmitters. And so if you can't break down adrenaline, for example, you have too much adrenaline. So that's one of the problems with mercury. The second problem with mercury is that it inhibits selenium, especially the selenoenzymes or the enzymes that work with selenium. So mercury inhibits those enzymes which have everything to do with being an antioxidant. So for example, the brain, which consumes a tremendous amount of oxygen. So we have a lot of oxidation, not many antioxidants. You're gonna have a lot of problems with the muscle weakness, poor coordination, poor memory. Those are all related to the brain. And also you need these enzymes with selenium to restore vitamin C and vitamin E networks. So without selenium, you're gonna have a much lower antioxidant network. Now, if your child is toxic with mercury, there are some slightly different symptoms. The child might have red cheeks or a nose. Now, just because your child has red cheeks or a red nose doesn't mean they have mercury toxicity, but it could mean that. Uh, rashes, uh, muscle weakness, and an increased sensitivity to light. So these are just things that you should be aware of. So mercury toxicity, number one, inhibits SAMe, and it inhibits the enzymes with selenium. So what do you do about it? Number one, you want to avoid fish high in mercury. And that's the number one thing. Okay. And I did a video on that recently. I'll put a link down below so you can get that data. Number two, you may want to uh, consider removing your dental amalgams. Okay. Just to get that excess amount of mercury out of your body. I personally did that because pretty much every single filling was an amalgam. Number three, start taking some selenium. Number four, take SAMI as a supplement. Number five, consider taking a chelating product called EDTA. Chelation means to bind with something. So EDTA will bind with certain things like mercury and pull it out of your body. I did a whole video on that. I'll put that link down below. And the last two uh, supplements that are really powerful would be glutathione and NAC, both very powerful antioxidants to counter the increased oxidation and free radical damage that you're gonna get with mercury toxicity. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.